Good morning, Second Swing Faithful. It's time for a little drive time chat with Buzz. Uh, I'm out of the fog. It's very foggy this morning. Uh, got down just before hitting the Maryland line, and the sun came out. So uh, that's nice. Very, very foggy this morning. On its way to about 84 degrees today, so pretty nice. I like the heat. All right, so last time we chatted, I had done the Pennsylvania Senior Open Qualifier. I have played three rounds of golf since then. Uh, one on a Wednesday and then two on last Wednesday. Uh, had the opportunity to jump out really early. Actually, I only got 15 holes in that day, that first round, and then 18 in the after, but we'll call it 36 holes. Um, you know, ultimately, I tend to not play easy golf courses very often. Um, I like the challenges of, of tougher golf courses, but as I'm coming into this season, I really need to spend some time playing some easier golf courses. And there's, there's one big reason behind this. Um, and it's, it's really an interesting kind of fact in the, in the golf world. When you play places that allow you to break down barriers and you are able to achieve scores that are what you want to be shooting, it reinforces that positive and it carries on with you. So back in 2000, I was a mini tour player that didn't have any money to play on. So I was working at what I, uh, I refer to as a beer drinking establishment that had a golf course attached to it. Uh, they didn't even have a, uh, a, a shirt policy when I got there and I took the the assistant manager's role there as, uh, uh, with the one caveat that if I was going to work there, people at least had to wear a t-shirt when we, when they play. So anyway, the golf course itself was a, it was a fun place to play. A couple of drivable par fours, reachable par fives, had some good holes too, uh, but It was a place that I learned to go out and shoot really low numbers on. And I did a lot of practicing back then. I mean, I was still very much in, uh, I still wanted to play full time mode. And so if I was in there in the mornings to work, I was playing all afternoon. And if I was in there in the afternoon shift, I came in early to play. Uh, Didn't have the best range. Uh, there was a space to hit balls. If you had your own, uh, hit them, go pick them up, hit them again, go pick them up. Uh, but the golf course just really allowed me to get really comfortable shooting low numbers. And I was amazed at the fact that when I did get a chance to go back out and play tournament golf again, full time that the numbers that I was shooting at this golf course translated and it didn't matter if the golf courses were significantly harder or not. I got comfortable being four, five, six, seven, eight, nine under par so that when I got off to good starts in tournaments or I got into a, a mode where I'd start putting a few birdies together, there was no mental barrier to 
preclude me from being able to keep going. So right now I have not played enough golf to be ready for this U S open qualifier on Thursday. Um, I had a really good practice session in the studio yesterday. Golf swing feels good. It's all going to come down to the putter. I think, um, but what I need, I think, ultimately, before I really get into the meat of this season, is I, I need to go play some easy golf courses. I need to go get back to the point where, you know, shooting 66, 67 is a comfortable thing. Because right now, I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm just, I'm not there. Uh, it doesn't bother me to get three, four, five under par. I'm just not getting there. I'm not making the putts. Uh, the courses I'm playing are more challenging. So, you know, one, two, three under is actually a pretty good score. And I prefer harder golf courses. I absolutely prefer harder golf courses. I, in, in tournament conditions, historically, I have shot the same numbers at harder courses than I have at easier courses. So therefore, why would I want to play easier courses when other people are uh, are going deeper and I'm stuck on numbers that would be good on a harder course. So it's been an interesting kind of survey of the, of the land over, over the last couple decades and, you know, how I've gotten to where I got to and where I am now and what I'm capable of and what I'm comfortable with. Um, you know, there's a, there's definitely a, a difference there between where I was and where I am now, and a lot of that has to do with practice and consistency of play. I mean, goodness, when I was a tour player, I was playing 300 rounds a year and hitting 400 balls a day, so uh, I'm definitely not doing that now. Um, I think I hit 140 balls yesterday, and that was a huge practice. Believe me, my body's feeling it today, too. Um just don't get old, people. It is, it is not for the faint of heart. But yeah, so I I got to start playing some easier golf courses and get back into that mode of, all right, shooting four, five, six under par is normal rather than shooting one, two under par being normal. Um, I'm not always going to play hard courses in tournaments, so I need to be able to get back into that go low mode and... Uh, and start seeing some of those, seeing some of these numbers drop. Um, you know, my goal for 2021 is to win another state open. I've got hopefully six of them this year. And I would, you know, winning back in 2018 kind of ignited the spark again. And you know, I just haven't had the time the last two years to be able to, to put into it. I'm trying to create the time now I'm trying to do the things that I really need to do in order to be successful on the golf course um, there are of course challenges I'm working on it I'm, I'm trying to make the right changes trying to do the things that will help me and one of those things is going to be playing some easier courses so if you want to get better if you want to break down barriers you want to shoot your lowest rounds go play some easy golf courses there is nothing wrong with shooting your best score on an easy golf course. You still have to get it in the hole, man. It, it does not matter. I shot 59 from the Red Tees at Harmony Preserve in Harmony, Florida. 59. Still the best round I've ever played. Yes, it was from the Red Tees. Let me tell you, there was more water in play from the Red Tees than there ever was from the Back Tees. And you still got to make putts. You still got to get the ball in the hole. Does not matter. So go play some easier golf courses. Let's break down some barriers. Let's shoot some low numbers. And let's make 2021 our best golf year as we possibly, possibly can. That's my goal. It's my hope for you too. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one. 